stocks by day, sports by night, trading around the clock, sports, value, life. Going fine. All right, Alico 3 here, and today's video is going to focus on a new platform that I've been using um, to list and upload items to eBay in a much quicker fashion. I think that's, that's what a lot of people are after and, and looking for. Um, when, when we're all in a time crunch, we, we only have so many hours in the day or minutes even to spend on the hobby. So um, I'm always trying to look for the next cutting edge thing and I, I think I found something that's uh, right up my alley on that. And um, there's also a scanner that I found that um, scans cards incredibly quick and I'm going to do an example of it after I do this uh, segment. I just want to um, introduce the uh, company. The name is Cronosio and they are based out of Canada and the software which is entirely free is called Chrono Card um, and they have a download feature on their website where you can get it. Um, so the only downfall of their uh, website is there's not a lot of traffic yet, not, not a lot of people know about it yet, but um, with this uh, scanner I'm going to show you guys, which is a Fujitsu FI7160, um, the way it works with the software that, that they've built is uh, it's an absolute game changer. So I'm, I'm going to do an example of this and sh show you guys how fast you, you can list with this these two tools put together, and there's also an eBay connector, so you can put the cards in the Chrono Card software and then push them to eBay. I mean, quickly, just like that. So um, I'm going to do an example for you guys, and you guys can let me know what you guys think about this whole deal. Okay, so this Later. is the actual Chrono Card software, and it's uh, version 947. That, that's not really important, but um, I'll just kind of go through. This is like the search button. This is like your file system. This is all all of your like rows and. Uh, a, you know, all the cards in A behind A, B, C, D, E. Uh, maybe I'll do a, a video on how they like to file their cards. There's, al there's also some online you can take a look at. Um, I usually file it uh, my, my own way. So um, this is the truck. If you sold anything, you just click on the truck and it'll, it'll show you. And then the eBay connector, which is cool. So this is all the cards that I have that I've merged over to eBay from Chronosio. So let's just go, the main point of this video is to show how fast you can scan and log the cards into the system. So um, you have two little two icons down here. Th this one with the two cards is your software and this is your scanning part of it. So you click on the scanner and you have this right here. So it says add cards to feeder. So okay, um, these aren't in soft sleeves if you want. You can, this is just a stack of cards that I want to sell. So you can scan them in soft sleeves if, if you want, but we're going to move over to the, and you, you click this button when you have your cards ready. So this is the scanner that I've been talking about. It is the Fujitsu FI7160. It's uh, an absolute beast. So I'm just going to take about half the cards and you feed them into the scanner. The cards are not in sleeves. I mean, a lot of times I will do them in sleeves. You, you can do it either way. The scanner won't hurt the cards. I've, I've tested it out. Um, so you just click scan over here and it just spits them out it's it's scanning the front and back too by the way all in order this, the scans come out great so do about 20 at a time that's usually how I do it so I, mean, I, I don't know I've never seen a more powerful thing for selling cards than this I was fortunate enough to come across it online a couple weeks ago I've just been kind of glued to it ever since. So our all those cards got scanned already. <laughs> so they're all scanned and they're in Chrono Card system. So we have them all in order here, and then you go through into the software, and I'll kind of just briefly go through that. And it's the quickest ways when you have a bunch of cards from the same set or like the same player to uh, chronicle your cards. So um, let me put the, this on the book. Okay, so now we're going to work on what what we just did. Seven possible errors found. Um, that's usually just like it didn't scan it perfectly, and I usually just skip that on low-end cards because I'm not too worried about it. So no, and it just says place the cards in the bin or in the box where um, it has it documented. I, sometimes I'll do it this way, and sometimes I'll sort it 
sort the cards my own way if that makes sense so I'm just gonna click yes so now the cards are the scanning portion is done go over to your chrono card go to your box it looks like a uh, three row monster box and then go to baseball and we just did F right so all the cards we scanned are right here right this is the stuff we just put into the scanner they're all in there front and back which is pretty amazing but we need to document them so click on your edit all cards and you'll get this screen and it'll have you can type in the year you know like 97 Bowman I'll just do it. I'll just type in something real quick for you guys 97 product is like the set Bowman um, player Vernon Wells and the card number if you want to put that in you can I mean you can, you can put whatever you want in to in, into the system 424 um, and then you can go over click on this box it's a rookie yes and uh, let's just scroll over here so when you're all done you just click status and you click eBay eBay fixed price and then it'll change this whole row to to the uh, eBay fixed price obviously fill in all your information put in the price you want to charge for them Th click save and close and then click list to eBay and it'll throw them all onto eBay that fast so I think this is an absolute game changer um, I want to do this video for a while now I think it'll help some people um, and I'm still trying to, to, to figure out how I can scan from my scanner into just like a folder as JPEGs if I don't want to use their software on some stuff I just I don't want to use the software I, don't, I want to just pull them from a folder so if anybody's good with computers and could explain to me how I could do that with this scanner that'd be really helpful to me so this is just a way to be more efficient with collecting some people like this video some people will have no interest but I'm all about helping who I can later